Hi, today I'm going to be doing a Chromecast versus Raspberry Pi comparison. Uh, this is the Raspberry Pi Model B, so this is a $35 computer showdown. Uh, basically, you've got $35, bucks. they both are identical in price. Uh, let's go through the differences between the two. So, starting on the left here, we've got the Chromecast, and let's just do a quick unboxing of that. Uh, first, we've got the uh, exterior of the box. It's just a box exterior. Inside, we have the Chromecast and the instructions. You can see it's pretty easy. Plug it in, switch the input over to the Chromecast, uh, and set it up. Uh, so here we have the uh, Chromecast itself. I'll look at that more in a second. But underneath, we have the power supply. We have a USB micro attachment, which is how you power the Chromecast. And in here, you can see in the middle, there's an HDMI extender, which is optional. Uh, it's used to improve fit and Wi-Fi connection. So if the TV is interfering with your uh, Wi-Fi, you can use this cable to uh, move it away from the TV and uh, your Chromecast will work better. Uh, there's the Chromecast. Let's just pop it out, have a quick look. So there's your Chromecast. That's an HDMI on the end. Besides that, it's got the power in there and this little switch. I don't know if you can quite see that. There's a little switch there. I don't know what it's for. Probably reset or something. There's your Chromecast. Let's chuck that to the side for a second. Next, let's look at what comes in your $35 Raspberry Pi Model B. Just open that up. There's some safety compliance information and your Raspberry Pi. That's it. All right. Cool. Moving on. Let's just get these two side by each so we can see the differences between them. All right. 35 bucks buys you this or this. Well, this and all the other stuff. So it's probably best if we start by talking about price. Well, for the price of 35 bucks, you do get all the bits you need to attach this to your TV, whereas for 35 bucks you don't get anything else that you need for the Raspberry Pi, like your uh, got one here, uh, micro uh, SD card, or your power supply, or a case, or uh, network cable, or anything. It doesn't HDMI cable. It doesn't come with anything. It's just a Raspberry Pi. So you'd think then that the Chromecast would be cheaper, but actually, the Chromecast requires a computer to use it. So you're either going to have to get yourself a computer. You don't have to get this computer exactly, but you need a computer. You could, I suppose, use your mobile phone, but that's a lot more expensive than the power supply and SD card for the Pi. So the Chromecast, well, the cheapest computer that you could ever get for the Chromecast to make it work is probably the Raspberry Pi. So if we're just doing a straight up price comparison, you probably think that the Pi is cheaper, but the truth is neither of them really is 35 bucks to get a working something. They're 35 bucks plus whatever you need to get it going. Just talking about hardware for a second, the Raspberry Pi obviously is a uh, 700 megahertz, I think it's 700 megahertz, uh, computer, uh, which is pretty powerful. Uh, it does HDMI uh, video at 1080p, uh, the Chromecast also does uh, 1080p. So in terms of hardware, it's difficult to really choose between them. They kind of do the same thing. Of course, this has more RAM and it, you know, it's got a CPU that's doing stuff. This, I don't really know the internal specs of it. Uh, I'll, t I'll try to find them and list them now, but it's not really of any consequence because all you're really doing with it is the one task and it should do that one task pretty easily. So. Maybe we should talk about software instead. Well, in terms of software, there's all sorts of stuff that you can do with Linux on the Raspberry Pi. You can run uh, other operating systems too, like Mathematica, uh, the Wolfram language, or uh, anything else. Uh, you know, 
even the coming of uh, React OS may, may eventually come to the Raspberry Pi. Whereas Chromecast, you just kind of run the app. It's not really much else to talk about. You run a browser on your device and then you stick it on the Chromecast. It's kind of straightforward, really. Uh, maybe then we should talk about the ease of setup. So the Chromecast, uh, you set it up in about five minutes. The Raspberry Pi, the fastest you could possibly set it up is probably like an hour. If you're good. I mean, there's a long learning curve with the Raspberry Pi. I'm pretty familiar with Linux, but even then, I did a video recently setting up RaspBMC, and that took about an hour. You just have to wait for stuff to happen. So in terms of ease of setup, I'm definitely going to give the advantage to the Chrome. In terms of picture quality and audio, there's really not much to choose between them. They both go down the HDMI path. They both, well, have digital sound. I suppose you could say that the Raspberry Pi with its CD output has other options. And if you want those other options or need those other options or want USB on a DAC, you know, you have it. So maybe in terms of picture and audio quality, we should say that the Raspberry Pi wins. In terms of streaming, uh, it's probably er, 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 easier to just stream with a Chromecast. You can use any device really easy. Right now, through RaspBMC, you can use AirPlay, uh, but I don't think it's working currently for iOS 7, and other streaming apps don't really exist yet. So, yeah, but you could just run a video through... It's a tough call. You could just run a video on this. I mean, you could just run Raspbian and stream a video. So, mm, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a conundrum. I'm going to say, though, if we had to choose, streaming is better on the Chromecast because it's just easier to set up. The next bit is to ask a question, could my mom use it? Actually, there's no way mom could ever figure out how to figure this out. I mean, I would tell her that it needs an SD card, and she'd say, a what? In terms of the Chromecast, you'd need her to pick up a computer and no. It's not going to happen. In terms of technical ability, you need a little bit of technical ability for both of these. This one's a lot easier. Most people could probably figure this out. Could my mom? No. Let's talk for a second about cool geek cred. Which one would the cool geek have? Well, the cool geek is probably the guy who has the latest gadgets and gizmos. So there's a lot to be said for having the Google Chromecast. But then, if you want to do something other than just stream videos and impress your friends with streaming videos, the cool geek factor is probably over here on the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, I'm going to say it's probably the Pi. I mean, what cool geek says to somebody, oh, I got a Raspberry Pi, and the other one says, I don't know what that is, and then it's like, you win. So, thinking about these kind of cool geek people, the question is, which one should you use? Which one should you buy? If you have 35 bucks in your wallet, plus tax, which one should you get? Well, it really depends what you want to do. I have both, and I kind of use them both. The Chromecast is great if the game is on, and you've got a subscription to a service, and you want to stream it. Or you're showing some friends some YouTube videos, and you, you, know, you don't want to show them on your computer, you want to stick it on the TV really quickly. But then, XBMC, or RaspBMC, I mean, it's essential. Basically, I could do any project on the Raspberry Pi. I mean, you could... You could, I don't know, open a garage door, or set up a Bitcoin mining machine, or who knows? You could set up a weather monitoring system, or any number of cool geek projects that you want are available for the Raspberry Pi. The Chromecast kind of does one thing, and it does its one thing great, but it kind of only does one thing. All right, just a quick recap. In terms of price, it's tough to choose, but we've got to give the advantage to the Pi. In terms of hardware, it doesn't really make any sense to compare them, but this one's got better internals. In terms of software and ease of use, it's the Chromecast, but if it's about the software and extensibility, it's about the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to call that one a split decision. Ease of setup, wow, that's an easy decision. Picture and audio quality, well, it's a tie, except if you need something other than an HDMI. And if you do need something other than HDMI, then you're going to want to choose the Raspberry Pi for that reason. 
streaming, it's got to be the Chromecast. Could my mom use it? It's a tie. She couldn't use either. Cool geek factor. It's got to be the Pi. Which one should you use? As I've explained, it could be either. It's probably both. For 70 bucks plus tax, you could have them both. And you might need some extra accessories to get the uh, Raspberry Pi working, but if you want a computer, if you want to do stuff, if you want to make projects, well, you're probably never going to be happy with the Chromecast. Cool, thanks for watching. You should check out my other videos and other cool projects online. You've probably seen them already on screen. Don't forget to ask any questions below. If there's any part of this that you'd like to know more about, feel free to ask. There's uh, always the About section, which is filled with useful information, including uh, where I got these uh, and other links and information. And I've set up a Donate button, so you can buy me a cup of coffee, which I'll appreciate. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like if you enjoyed the video. Thanks again.